Good morning and welcome to Preparing to Survive and Thrive Homesteading Channel with Charlie B. So what are we up to today? Well, we are going to be freeze drying some things. Now I know in one video I said I might not get enough soup to freeze dry because it all sealed. Well, we decided to go ahead and open up some jars and go ahead and freeze dry this. So this is the stuffed pepper soup. I'm going to do two of those. And when I was making the stuffed pepper soup, I re I did way too much rice, like way too much rice. This is probably about nine cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four cups on each tray and then what's left, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle it in with the freeze dried soup. Okay. So that will make it even a little bit more hearty. So let me bring you down and I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. Hang on just one minute. Okay, like I stated, I'm going to do four cups of rice on each of these trays. And if I find any big clumps, I'm going to go ahead and break them up. Because we don't want a bunch of big clumps in there. That one right there. I'm just trying to smash them out as I go. And eventually, I'll probably have to stop and smash them over smash them out a little bit more. If it's too clumpy and not separated, then it will be take longer to freeze dry in those spots. Now I know these are not completely, perfectly measured cups, but they're good enough. There's a big, big clump, so I'm going to get that one smashed up. Now, this was cooked in beef broth, the rice was, and um, so when I label this, I got to make sure I put cooked in beef broth so we don't go to make it and end up having a beef taste and something we wanted a chicken flavor. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this out. My cats are trying to figure out what I'm doing and wanting the food as usual. I got a sneezy cat there on the floor. He must have allergies. It's a lot of rice right there. But this will definitely, if we ended up having to just eat this because, you know, a storm hit, all we'll have to do is add a little hot water to it and it will take a, less, a lot less time to cook than regular rice does. Like this would hydrate back to edible state within a few minutes. We will definitely have to try this in the future. But this is definitely going to be amazing. I love doing stuff like this because it does help us prepare for the future. And if hard times comes, um, that we have it for quick meals and it doesn't take as long, or it won't take as much water as it does cooking non-instant rice. This is kind of like an instant rice, but even more instant than that. Okay, I have my two trays with about four cups on each tray. Got them smoothed out. Make sure they look good and even. going to get these guys stacked up on top of each other, just lay them over like that, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my soup with the added extra of rice. Go ahead and shake this up so I get everything out from the bottom. Now this one has a little bit more content in it because it was one of the second ones that I had um, Canned. And if you haven't seen that video, please take a look at it after you finish watching this video. I will also leave the video descriptions about this whole series about stuffed pepper soup in the description. So there we go. The 
because I had already opened these jars. So this is a quart. It'll be about four cups. Now when I start the freeze dryer, I go down, I start it up, and it says it needs to cool chamber for 15 minutes. So right now that's what it's doing, why I'm getting everything on the trays. And then when they get done, then I'll be able to get these right on there. Of course, I didn't freeze anything. These are going right into the freeze dryer from the refrigerator or from my countertop. Okay, there's one jar of soup down. And this is the one that siphoned out more whenever I canned it. And it didn't seal, so I went ahead and, no, it might have sealed now. I went ahead and put it in the fridge. Now, when I'm thinking about freeze drying stuff, especially stuff for meals, I'm thinking about what is going to be a hearty meal. Like, I can literally pull this out and, um, Get some hot water on it and make it into a great soup. Now by adding the extra rice this will actually help it extend further and it will fill us up even better and give us more calories because a lot of vegetables don't always constitute a lot of calories but there's a this is great for nutrition because there's going to be a lot of vegetables in here there's meat and there's also a good starch, a good carbohydrate, starchy carbohydrate, that will help give us energy in case hard times had come and we needed to use these guys, which I'm going to start using them just because I want to start trying them out. Okay, so as you can see, this one has much more liquid in it than what this one does. Should probably scoop that over a little bit. Just don't want to dump my rice on the floor. That would not be a good thing. And we still have some leftover rice, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Okay, so once I pushed down the rice to see how much I had left and broke up some chunks, I ended up with almost um, four to five cups. I didn't want to quite do that much, so. I went ahead and took out about three quarters of a cup and added it to the rice trays. This is what I have left. I'm going to take a cup and add to each tray. This will make it more hearty. And make it go further. I need to smash this one guy up a little bit. Yes, I'm using my fingers. We'll get over it, right? How much do I have left? I don't have that much left, so I'm going to go ahead and add that to the trays. I have the other tray sitting on the other counter, so I'll do that in a few minutes. Now, this does not have to be perfectly mixed in, but I definitely want it mixed in some because whenever I go to put it in the freeze dryer, and it cooks down, or doesn't really cook down, it freezes, and then it dehydrates. That's how a freeze dryer actually works. It will all go together, and it'll go in a bag. I'll break it up into large chunks. And this can be a meal, it can be soup, it can be a lot of different things. But what it will be definitely is something to fill our bellies when we are hungry and hard times that may be coming. Okay, so I'm gonna get these guys down to the freeze dryer. I'm gonna finish mixing this up and I will bring you down to the freeze dryer with us so you can see what it looks like. Oh, hey, forgot to tell you real quick. We have an affiliate link in the description for a freeze dryer. So if you want to take a look at one and see what they cost and if you would be 
considering getting a freeze dryer, please use my link. I would appreciate that. It would be amazing. But yes, that is our first, actually, our first affiliate for this channel. Very, 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 very happy. Because I do love my freeze dryer. Okay. Let me get these guys a little bit more straightened out. And we'll be back. Okay, so I came downstairs and put the trays in, but to remove the glare, I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see it. I haven't started it, um, but I ended up with about, with the extra added cup of rice on everything, I ended up with five cups on each tray. So it'll be, ended up totaling 10 cups of just plain rice and 10 cups of the soup. So we're going to shut this guy back up. So this is the medium freeze dryer, and this is the black one. So... Now, as you can see, right here, it says load food into freeze dryer and close drain valve. I've already closed the drain valve, but I'm going to hit continue. Come on. There we go. Didn't hit it hard enough. So, now it's freezing. Okay, so we'll be back when I go to pull them out. Well, we are back down here at the freeze dryer. It's just a little loud, and so far these guys have been drying for... Uh, 28, a little over 28 hours. Now, I did expand it about four hours because I was in the middle of something, could not stop, so I just went ahead and added some more dry time. So, I'm going to turn off the freeze dryer and unhook the vacuum so the door will open up. Okay, everything is dry. I'm going to get these guys upstairs. So, we can type, hit no defrost, and I'm going to just let the guy, this little, this little guy pop itself out, and I'll get a bucket underneath of it when it starts to drain. We'll be back. Okay, so we're back upstairs. I'm going to show you the rice first. It's going to be very easy to put in the bags. It's just, it's so light and airy. I, I can't wait to try some of this. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be, this is faster than instant rice. So there's the other one, and let's go to the soup. Now you can see this stuff was definitely dry. <laughs> it's not coming apart that easy, but I'll show you more whenever. Oh, here comes a piece. Yep, it's very, very light, very airy, and completely dry. I love it. So I'm going to start getting these guys in bags, and I'm just going to break this one up. I'm not going to really worry about cutting it because eventually it'll be um, added some water, heated up, and used. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to put this bag. I've got a big funnel, and I'm going to literally dump the tray in it. Let's pray it goes as well as I'm seeing it in my head. It doesn't always... Okay, it's going in pretty good. Now remember, this is about five cups of rice. And some of it's falling on the other rice. We can pick that up. Those few little stragglers is not going to really matter. So. Mm. This is going to make some great meals in the future. Or it could even be in the near future. Okay, lay this right here. It's a pretty good size. So the bag is um, a little bit more than half full. I'm going to fold this down and I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to vacuum seal it. Get the other one in. Escaping. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting these guys in. Let me move these over so everybody can see. 
breaking this up. I'm not worried about making it into little blocks or anything like that. This is soup, so I don't want to crush it up because I want the rice and the meat and peppers and onions to still have some chunk, not be just totally mush and disintegrate it once we've um, rehydrated. So as you can see, I'm just breaking it up and I'm putting it in here. And this is also about five cups of soup. This will make a good meal for at least three adults. If you add cornbread or biscuits or some type of bread, we could probably even extend it to make it more filling for more people. Because in a situation, you never know how many people you might have to feed or how long you might have to stretch out your food. But we have this and we are keeping this on the positive side. So this is going to be pretty well stuffed full. Keep shaking it down. Oh, it's a little tighter stuck to it, but I just kind of pull it off and I'm going to go ahead and take this tray, shake it down a little bit, and dump the remaining rice and stuff into this. Okay. Let me go ahead and finish up the other one. And we'll be back when we start to seal these babies up. Got to push it down a little bit. Okay, so as I'm packing this up, I have found that there are some fat pockets in this. And yes, I knew there was some fat in it. Um, so these will not last 25 or 30 years. They might not last 5, 6, maybe even as long as 10. But there's not a whole lot of fat. That's one good thing. And... Um, the better the sealed, the longer they'll last. But I'm sure we'll have a reason to eat these up before they would go bad. Just remember, the higher content of fat that you have, and there's not a whole lot in here, the less time food will stay good in a freeze dryer situation or in a bag. Okay, so still adding, we'll be back. Okay, so we're ready to vacuum seal these guys. This one has the rice on it. I've got 400 cc's oxygen absorber in there. Now, I also have a strip from one of the um, vacuum sealer bags. Now, I want to suck out as much air as I can with this little guy here. And put that right in there. I'm just going to seal it like I would normally seal something. Put it down. Make sure it's locked. And... Vacuum and seal. Woo! That's really sealed and really vacuumed. I'm hoping that didn't seal the rice so much that it totally crushed it. But I don't think it did. Okay, so... Since I don't feel that this is sealed just good enough with the vacuum sealer, I'm going to go over here to the one that is actually from the Harvest Right. So I'm going to bring you along. There you go. You have it. And with this, I leave the tag sticking out. And I'm just going to vacuum seal or heat seal it. There you go. So I want to finish these guys up and we'll be back in a minute. Well, we finished up our freeze drying of the rice and the stuffed pepper soup. 
So we have four more bags to go in our stores and something that's different than what we had before. So very simple, very easy. And, oh, I don't know if I told you in the earlier part of the video, I have an affiliate with Harvest Right, and there's a link in the description. So if you want to take a look at them, please do. And remember, like my content, subscribe and share. So remember, like, share, and subscribe. This is Charlie B signing out. I'll be talking with you soon.